What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today we're gonna be opening up some engrams. So I saved up a bunch of legendary engrams, I got some weapon engrams as well as a few armor pieces. So we're gonna see what we can get out of these because you shouldn't save your engrams going into the DLC because they will only give you pre-DLC gear or weapons so that's something to take note open up your engrams don't try and save them and open them after the DLC comes out because they won't give you uh, any of the new stuff so that's why I'm trying to open up a bunch of my engrams that I've been saving um, over the past uh, few weeks or so so here we go going into my engrams I believe I have I think I only have primary weapon engrams so I have like three or four of them and then I only have these armor pieces right here so we'll start off with the armor and then go into the weapons. So let's start off with the boots. For the legendary boots, we get a Symmetry Fang 2 Warlock piece of gear. For the helmet, we get a Insurmountable Skull for Nice, an exotic. That's pretty cool. Um, I hardly ever get exotics out of my legendary, so that was really nice. And then for the gauntlet, we get a Viper Spine 2. I like to keep some of the gauntlets because I think they're useful in uh crucible did i say usable i meant useful um i was trying to say crucible but i combined it with useful uh but i like using the gauntlet sometimes the regular legendaries because it helps you reload certain weapon types quicker and crucible regular crucible doesn't really matter what level you are um so you can use any type of gear you can even use blue or rare gear um and if it helps you reload certain weapons like hand cannons or pulse rifles quicker um, I always like to save those, so gauntlets are pretty good, even though they're not high light level because I like using them in Crucible. For the weapons, for the primaries, we got three or four of these, so let's open them up. First one is a last word. This is unbelievable. I got two exotics in in my uh, engrams, legendary engrams. So we get a last word. That's pretty ridiculous. So let's see what we get in the next one. We get two energy. Um, that's that's all right. We got two exotics already. That's pretty impressive. Next one we get a Vanquisher eight, which is pretty cool. Let's see the perks on these after. And then we get for the last one a for the people auto rifle. So that was pretty cool. Two exotics, unbelievable. So I get a last word, which is pretty cool. We got for the people, and it has hip fire and grenadier, perfect balance, high caliber rounds. Uh, I don't really like those perks on an auto rifle, but I've never tried this gun, so maybe I'll keep it. For this, we have Crowd Control, Hammer Forged, and Persistence. I already have a Vanquisher. I got it in a Nightfall, and I'm not sure how the perks... I forget the perks on that one, so let's see. I'll look at it and see how it compares to this one. Um, we also got a Insurmountable Skull Fort, which is... Not bad of a stat roll. I'm not sure what mine is at, but we'll take a look at it after. Uh, we have a Viper Spine that has increased reload speed for post rifles. I might actually keep that one because... Um, oh, I already have one. Maybe I won't keep it then. This one has Intellect. This one has Discipline Strength. Uh, I like using these for uh, Crucible, like I said. Like how I have this one. I use it for uh, when I use like Last Word or Thorn and Crucible, it's really useful. And then I got this Viper Spine, or not Viper Spine, Symmetry Fang. So those are what I got, two exotics, pretty ridiculous. That was one of my best legendary openings ever because I hardly ever get exotics out of my legendary engram, so that was pretty cool. That's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, the like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.